Hello friends, welcome back to another episode on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. Today we are going to be going Zard hunting because we're going to be cracking open this Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box. Hopefully you enjoy this and without further ado, let's crack into this. I can't wait. See what we're going to get. So here we are with the ETB ready to go. I'm gonna crack it open. We'll take a look at the box and see what we've got inside. We actually already opened one of these ETBs on stream. So I might upload that if you'd like to see that. We've got some crack and pulls. I'll be able to do that for you guys. So you can see, very nice box. The artwork inside the actual box itself is so nice. You've got all the shiny, shiny Pokemon. And then you get the actual little booklet with uh, all the information in and um i'll tell you the cards and all, all that jazz so it's, it's quite nice always nice to keep and go through and help you out with your collection but the box in general um is very nice textured box you know it's not like some of the like the champions path one wasn't very textured this feels really nice um and here it is is the goodies inside you know you get all the standard stuff that you get in a normal etb you get the nice sleeves these are really nice sleeves you know I don't know if it's just me, but uh, the previous ETBs, like uh, especially Rebel Clash, Darkness Ablaze, the sleeves that you got on those sets were terrible. Like the quality of them was terrible. They didn't really sit right. They felt oversized. I don't know, but these these definitely feel really nice. And that's from my other ETB. So uh, we'll keep them to one side. So we've got something to protect our little cards. And there should be a sneaky old Eevee. promo card so there we go centering is pretty terrible it's the thinnest of thin things on the left hand side but really nice really nice promo um yeah you look how thin that is on one side this down this side so thin but never mind it's a nice promo i'm not going to complain put this to one side uh yeah like i say you get the dice you get all the other stuff as we shake the camera around and uh, lots of nice things. So uh, the, the, the main things that we want to be looking for though, obviously in this box are the packs because you get 10 packs. So really for value for money, if you can pick these up at RRP or MSRP, wherever we are in the world, um, they're probably the best value for packs, um, the ETBs. Uh, the Pika V boxes, I've opened a few of those already and pulls haven't been great in all honesty so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten two zard packs we're going to be starting with those uh we've got our sleeves ready we'll just bust these open and we'll see what we get for today because obviously the one card that i am really looking for like everyone else at the moment is going to be that that uh, g max charizard card it is the one that everyone's hunting but there's a lot of good cards in this set you know this set has an amazing array of cards skylar full art is definitely one ball guys another one that i'm after we got some nice pulls on stream yesterday um there is a code card for anyone that wants it and we'll go one two three four from the back, tap on the back, what do we got? Steel energy, metal energy to kick us off today. So what are we gonna see? We've got Thwacky, Ball Guy, Tropius, Morpeko. I do love the art on Morpeko. I think it's such a nice, it's such a nice card and it's kind of like one of those storytelling cards as well, which is always, always nice to see. Coughing, Glycifer. Can we get a hit in our first pack today? Cacnea, Chuto. Oh, no way. Amazing rare pressure on there. We go. Pack number one. We get some magic. What a beautiful card. What a beautiful card. It is insanely nice. And behind it, we've got a double hit. we got a double hit. What have we got? Oh, Crobat VMAX. There we go. Okay, double hit. That is in fantastic. So, um, yeah, what a great way to kick us off today. These ETBs so far have been pretty kind to me. Um, this is my second one. I was, I was only able to manage to actually get two on pre-order. Uh, which was a little bit sad. Well, I don't know if I need any more than two, you know, I'm not being greedy. Um, I think I've got another two on pre-order, but they are second wave products, so I'll not be getting them for a little while. So we'll pop these in the back there and we'll move these ones out of the way. But what a great pack for us to kick off with today. Getting into the second one. 
Going with the Dragapult. Let's see if we can continue this. Can we get another hit? But the hits, they do feel very similar to Shiny Star V, you know? Shiny Star V had, obviously you get a hit in every pack. You have the chance of a God pack, which you don't get with these these English ones, which is a little bit of a shame. I always feel with, you know, the God pack is a nice um, thing to have, you know? It's something that it's like an extra, and it would always be nice if they introduced that, I, I feel, you know, with the English sets, but never mind, we'll see. Psychic Energy, Rusted Sword. Lotzel, Dartrix, Trepinch, Yanma, Coughing, Morpeko. This is the other one. This is the story card, isn't it? I love this. The shuckle in the background. It's so nice. We've got a horsey. We've got a reverse. Holo, Thwacky, and a Delmise V. So not bad, not bad. Delmise V. Okay. Um, funny enough, I actually pulled the Delmise V. Such nice art on this one. I've already pulled this in my other ETB. So that's two for two now. Um, not too bad. At least we get a hit, which is always good. Cannot complain. And we'll move straight on to our pack number three. So can we keep it three for three? Can we do that? I don't know. I don't know. Can we get three for three? I'm feeling pretty good about this. I feel like we're going to get it. Three for three. Code card if anyone wants it two three four from the back fire energy here's the sign here is the sign so we've got fire energy rusted shield rotom this is another one i will just pause for a minute because when i was opening the, the box for the first time on stream i do love this you know rotom with his like like nightlight on he's reading the book of the big rotoms like you know all the forms he could be i just love it it's just such a nice card i really love this rotom card flotsel eevee another nice one nick it horsey snom chilling on a bench got more peko Reverse rare, Professor's Research, and a Yan Mega Dirt Pack. So, nothing in pack three. The streak ends, but we've got plenty of cards to go to keep this streak going, friends. So, let's crack in to our next one, pack number four. What do we got? Corviknight? Corviknight. Here we go. Can I struggle? Code card. One, two, three, four. Right, here we go. Fighting energy. Ball guy. I'd love the fallout ball guy. Cramorant. Thwacky. Spinarak. Rowlet. Morpeko. Nicket. Glossifer. Reverse. Holo. Morpeko. And uh, Volcanian. Okay. Two duds in a row. Two duds in a row. But what are you going to do? Come on. We've got the Zard pack up next. Um, so I'm hoping. I'm hoping. There's always hope, isn't there? It's always the, the like the chase card. It's always the hardest one to get. And it's it's made harder, you know, when you see people on, on social media and you're like, so many people have pulled it. Because they're the only pictures that people are posting, really. You know, the Zard pictures. Pull the Zard. So you get this false impression that yeah, I know the pull rates aren't as bad in this set as previous Zard sets, but you do get that kind of sense of, like, a false sense of security where you're like, yeah, we, it's going to be easy to get the Zard. We're going to crack a couple of boxes and we're going to get the Zard, but it's not all, it doesn't always work like that. Lightning Energy, Rusted Sword, Dartrix, Ball Guy, Cacnea, Tutel, Spinarak, Cufant, Glossifer, Reverse Hollow Dreadnought, and... Wow, indeedy hollow. So, that's three packs where we've not really had anything. So, we've got, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five. We're halfway there with only three hits so far. So, we gotta, we gotta up our game. We gotta up our game, peeps. We've got to up the game. So, can we do it? I feel we can. I feel confident. Got a tutor coming in out of this shiny Dragapult. One, so there is the code card, friends. One, two, three, four. And if you use the code card, you get anything good, let me know down in the comment section. I'd love to hear. Grass Energy, Rusted Sword, Rotom, Eldegoss, Tutel, or Peko, 
Cacnea, Horsey, Cufant. Oh, no way, there we go. Shiny Vault, Shiny Thievil. That is a beautiful, that is a beautiful card. That is gorgeous. I love this card so much. Okay, we do get a hit. Do we get a double hit though? That is the question. No double hits. We get a boss's orders, but we cannot be too sad about that. We can't be asking too much because that Thievil card is beautiful. I will take that every day. So, don't feel like we've got some, some goodies to get. So we'll get into this next one. It is going to be a Toxicity pack. Toxicity, don't let us down. Code card for you all. One, two, three, four. Give it a tap on the back. I hope this isn't anything good because look already. Look at the whitening. This is the thing. On some of these packs, you know, the, the quality is not so good. And I don't know whether it's because it's... A, been maybe a rushed print run or it just a new print run or I don't know but I have noticed some flaws in the the cards themselves darkness energy team yell towel rusted shield elder goss snom on a bench coughing cacnea glossifer another snom on a bench is that right how can I have two of these in one pack is that right have I yeah but literally two and not even one's a reverse why why do you... <laughs> why i've already had like a hundred of these so it's like i don't need any more um we get a reverse holo nicket and a zaru that was a dead pack a dead dud that is a dud pack you get two snoms on a bench that is the duddest of dud packs never seen that before never seen a dupe card obviously when you get the reverse holo that's fine. Or you get a hollow, you know, but I've never seen the same card in a pack twice. So, Corviknight pack. Come on. We've got, this is, this is three from the end. We need to get some big hits here because it's not looking good for the um, two, three, four. For the ETB right now, the hits are not really that great so far. They're good, but they're not that great. Water Energy, Tropius. Ball Guy, Rusted Sword, Chutel, Yanma, Mopiko, Eevee, Yanma, Amazing Rare, Eveltal, and a Yan Mega. Okay, well, we'll take that. That completes my Amazing Rare set now, which is incredible. Um, I'll take that all day long. I'm still kind of in the mind that we've not got that great pulls. You know, we've not got a... Um, a VMAX, or, well, we've got one VMAX, I guess, with the Crobat, but I mean, if you're looking at the pulls so far, they're not outstanding out of eight packs. I mean, they're not bad, but not outstanding. So we've got two packs left. Should we keep our Zard pack for the last one? Let's keep the Zard for the last one. We've got a Dragapult up next. And if we need that last pack magic, is, that, is there a better pack to have? than the Zard. We've still got a chance of getting the Zard. We've still got a chance. Code card. Right. One, two, three, four. Give it a tap on the back for a little bit of luck. Brass Energy. Gym Trainer. Team Yeltel. Luxio. Tutel. Spinarak. Cufant. Glossopher. Snom on a bench again. Sandaconda, Shiny Vault. Oh, that's a beautiful card. Okay, so we get a hit. Do we get a double hit? No double hit, another Yang Mega, but we do get a Shiny Sandaconda, which is always nice to see. It's a beautiful card. It is a beautiful card. Lovely card indeed. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. And uh, it's got a little bit of bleed on the uh, the shiny bleed to the side. Okay, friends, well, we're down to the last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? As Leonhardt would say. It, it normally works for Leonhardt, so let's see. Let's see, can it work for Lee? Can it work for me? Come on, let's do this. Code card for friends. And we'll go one, two, three, four. 
Give it a nice little magic rub. Uh, level C, water energy. Come on, let's get a hit. Tropius, Cramorant, Rusted Sword, Yanma, Morpico, Coughing, Glossifer, Cacnea, Reverse, Hollow, Gym Trainer, and our last card of this ETB is going to be a Volcanian. How disappointing. Um, but we've got some nice pulls. Let's do a little recap of what we've got so far. So, I mean, out of 10 packs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it's probably quite a weak ETB. But we do get the Crobat VMAX. It's a nice card. Uh, the Sandaconda uh, Shiny. The Thievil Shiny, really nice. We get the two amazing rares in Reshiram and Eveltal, and then we get one V. So I do feel a little bit like we haven't got a full art trainer. We didn't get a like a, 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 a shiny a full art shiny V or a shiny V Max card, which is a little bit unfortunate. So it's not been the best ETB. Obviously, the, the other ETB I got was phenomenal. Uh, compared to this so I can't complain too much but at the same time I think um, yeah it's just how it goes sometimes you know you don't you're not always going to get the best cards we got some really nice ones can't complain so I think all in all it's been very enjoyable I do love opening the packs of course of uh, Shining Fates I think it's a really great set I hope um, you guys if you've been opening it have been enjoying it because i think it's an incredible set and if you have let me know what your polls have been early doors with this set thanks so much for tuning in i'm gonna wrap it up there friends have a great rest of your day and i'll uh, i'll catch you all for another episode on the channel very soon have a good one Bye bye